Robert, you're on with Ian and Mark on Free Talk Live. Hey, Ian and Mark. I don't know how old y'all are, but I'm going to give you two words why, or two, uh, or a description of why you got to regulate kids. It's called E. coli. We have an outbreak in Greenwood, South Carolina, resulting in the death of a child because adults did not supervise children in hand washing and otherwise. So what should have happened in this case with the little kids is that the parents should have monitored it. Yeah. Are you serious? Come, uh, I mean, are you seriously saying that little girls should get a lemonade permit because you're afraid of E. coli? How about you just don't buy the damn lemonade? How about the kids don't touch the food? Kids are nasty. Well, and you're from a generation that doesn't like rule. You're from the Gen X, you know. Have he's you ever from, heard of he's millennial. Mary? He's it millennial, depends. and it I'm depends, Gen X. Mark. I, you you and, could and, argue I'm either you know, one. You, 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 need a, you need a baby boomer smack. Okay. Well, look, only a baby boomer, only the entitled generation could be so presumptuous as to believe somehow some piece of paper is going to fix the problem of E. coli. <laughs> They're not washing their hands with the paper, anything. sir. You didn't. Let me tell you something. You can Pass tell me whatever Mary. you feel like. Man. Is that boot history? taste? That's what I want to know. You haven't paid for anything in your entire life. I've and never paid for anything in my entire paid. life. Everything I've you got, I've paid, paid for. Anything. You've you licked a boot for everything dues. you've got. <laughs> you haven't paid your dues. I have paid. So I spent eight and a half on. years in prison and then worked my way up to here. You can kiss my butt after you get finished licking that cop's boot. Well, let me tell you something. We boomers fail with y'all. We started getting dirty hippies, and we started failing, and we started teaching you all rules are bad. Well, I was raised by the greatest generation that ever was, and they grandma made me wash my hands. You better believe my grandmother made me wash my hands, too. This is the most she didn't. All right, I'm My grandmother was a Reagan Republican, and she never believed for a second that some government piece of paper somehow fixes problems. This is the most ridiculous conversation I've heard in recent memory. Uh, this guy, Robert, is claiming to speak for all of the baby boomer generation and acting as though everybody's the same and as though the millennials and the Gen Xers are all the same. It's the most silly, absurd collectivizing I've ever heard. Go ahead, Robert. Well, anyway, you cut me off, but basically... No, I didn't. I put you on hold. You're still here, so you can blather about your ridiculous collectivizing. Go ahead. Fine. The fact is, hear me now and believe me later. I lived through polio epidemic. I lived through measles epidemic. I drove and worked for a school district. <laughs> Kids are living Petri dishes. All right, thanks for the oh, call. They're dirty. There's no doubt about it. There's going to be an epidemic caused by some girls with their lemonade stand. Oh. We need the police to step in. I don't. Dis- I couldn't. I can't believe we actually got that call. I well, didn't really think we'd ever get that call. Okay, hold on just a second. The fact is, is that some parents. Um, and the way they raise their kids yeah. do result in communicable diseases spreading. Don't buy the damn lemonade if you're worried about it. But this government piece of paper doesn't fix it. Can right. somebody understand this? This is really important, Ian, is that we understand that the government's just going to take your money, give you a piece of paper. I just got a burn permit to burn some stuff on my property mm-hmm. uh, last Friday, and I can assure you that that burn permit doesn't put <laughs> fires out. I mean, the only purpose of it in that circumstance is that the fire department knows, hey, there's a fire going on here. Well, somebody reports it. I mean, but there, in, the, the argument there, Mark, would be that at least with the permit, in theory, the firemen are coming out and inspecting your fire pit to make sure that there's no uh, tree branches. They're not within. doing that in this circumstance. That's what I mean. This is, I think this is a little different. So it's while your comparison, I think, jives in some ways, it, others is not really applicable here. This the, is a l- way the for the government not, to get 150 yeah, bucks out of people. The, right. The police chief is not going to come and test, bacteri- test for bacteria. Okay, that's just not going to happen. The health department is not going to come out there and test for bacteria in these little girls' lemonade cups. And if they did, that would be even more ridiculous. If you are so worried about children, and look, I'm not a fan of kids. I don't have any. Uh, But, you know, if you're so worried about, but I bought lemonade from a kid on the side of the road. There was one here in the neighborhood, actually. When I heard that some neighborhood kid was selling lemonade, I went over and bought the damn lemonade. You know, I didn't really care whether it was good or not. I didn't really care whether, you know, how the, what the conditions were under which it was made. 
I'm just not, I guess I'm just not worried about that kind of stuff. And why should I live in the world where I'm always wondering whether those little kids have gotten their government health permit? I mean, that's sick. You know, I wonder how old I have to be in order to stop listening to a-holes that say, you don't get to have an opinion because you're not old enough. <laughs> I mean, at this point, I am 44 years old. Jesus Christ died for your sins at 33. Thomas Jefferson wrote the, the Declaration of Independence at 33. We've had, I mean, for I'm old old enough to be elected president for god's sake well, i believe he, i'm older than kennedy was when he was elected and did you hear i the, mean at some point yeah. some old geezer and this guy's not even old enough to be considered an old geezer like he's a geezer well before his time well did you hear him intimate that you would understand someday you know someday you'll understand right uh, well at that point my seven-year-old <laughs> will be grown up and no longer have to worry about cops bothering him with his lemonade well stand. thankfully we've never heard of that happening in new hampshire no Okay, so I don't know if that would happen up here, but in Texas, it's happened.